there, got a video for you. Sorry about that. Anyway, let's go. So for the people that don't follow me on social media, I went to Las Vegas and I was gonna make another montage video, but I was just like, let me just do something different. I thought not very long because apparently I'm just going to talk about my trip. I know it's crazy. So anyway, I wanna talk about Chris Angel, the magician. I don't feel way back I have always been a fan of Chris Angel I've always watched his show thankfully I just happened to go the week to Vegas where he had a show yeah I don't give things much thought I just do things so Chris Angel has his own theater in a hotel in Las Vegas called Planet Hollywood. I was thinking like, wow, how many floors does this thing have? It's like freaking huge. Hey, hey, that's what she said. Hey, shut up, I'm talking here. But anyway, so when I got in the theater, they had it very decked out for Chris Angel. Obviously it's his theater, but it was really cool how they made it look. And they had a lot of merch being sold, but I wasn't really caring about that. I just wanted to go see Chris Angel in person. And let me tell you, holy pistachio, yo, it was amazing. Where do I even begin? When you walked in the theater, they had a a lot of ushers as well and it felt very professional because every time you walked up the steps to wherever your seat is they always had ushers showing you where to sit obviously they're an usher but i guess i don't really do this often to really be used to that but i thought it was really cool sadly we weren't able to record any of the show the only time i got out my phone was when they said put out a flashlight so i'm like okay i will while i'm recording <laughs> but the things that i couldn't record i really want to talk about because it was blowing my mind. So I don't really want to spoil the show in case if you want to go and watch it yourself, but uh, I'm gonna. So one thing I liked about the show was Chris Angel basically teleported. They had like fire on the stage. I was up in the balcony and I still felt the heat of it. So imagine how he felt being right beside it. But anyway, he had the flames come up and then he disappeared. For some reason, I didn't think about him ended up being in the audience and they pinned the spotlight right on him. He was just sitting there by one of the audience members. And I was just like, how? Realistically, he probably just went under the stage, ran over there and you know had a little hole to get up in the seat. Cause I mean, it's his theater, so he probably just made it to where he could do all these tricks. But one thing I thought was crazy was he put a ladder in the middle of the stage while he walked up it. He was on the top. He was walking down the ladder sideways. Like here's the ladder. And then he's just like casually going backwards, laying like this. Like, I don't know if you could see, but he's just like casually going down. Oh, I feel like an idiot. So he was basically levitated off the ladder. And then you think that, oh, it's, it's, that's it. He's, that's all he's doing. No. He legit starts levitating in the air. He's doing flips and then he brings this lady up and they just start going in the air together. And I'm just like, I'm seeing this. I'm not believing it. Like you're like, oh, they probably got an invisible wire there. But I'm like, I'm, over, I'm legit. My eyes are not blinking. I'm surprised my eyes just didn't dry up right there. Cause I was just like, how is this happening? Like I'm seeing it, but I'm not believing it. What is going on? Is this real life? And he did a lot of other tricks as well. Like he brought some audience members on there. He had a couch right there. They all just sat there and he talked about them, asked what their names were. And he was like, he asked this one lady, he's like, hey, what's the most thing you're scared of and so they had an ipad and she typed it out on there she was afraid of spiders so what chris angel does is naturally well spoiler alert brings out a spider like he just brings a tarantula out of thin air and he had it right under, under a bowl and all of course the ladies just disperse but here's what got me not the fact that he just brought a tarantula out of thin air but the fact that he made a joke about it he was just like all right now everybody check under your seats and i was just like oh my gosh dude no freaking way because i freaking hate spiders man i hate them and I was just on the seat, just like, please tell me it's not there. I'm about to run out of this theater, I swear. <laughs> but he was just like, ah, oh, it would've been pretty good if I did that, huh? I was just like, bro, that's not freaking funny. I never looked under the seat, by the way. Never looked under the seat. But I thought it was funny, he said one guy, he got so scared, he like put his legs up like he was giving birth or something. But anyway, while the ladies were still on stage with him, he went to go grab the lady's purse and took everything out and put it on the uh, table that they had in front of him. He looked at the, all the contents to see what they were and he was joking around the theater. Chris Angel's very good at improv, I would have to say. When he pulled out everything out, he saw this charger. He's like, you know what this charger reminds me of? A snake. So what does he do? He dives into the purse, drags out the snake. It's not a small snake, let, let me tell you. It was like, a. am like, I don't even know how the snake fit in the purse. And again, the ladies disperse as they do. But and then of course throughout, you know, he does all these little tricks here and there. But besides the levitation, I have to say the thing that really got me was when he was like fighting with this other guy. Like they had like a cool fight scene, but while they were doing it, I don't know how they did it, but they had like this screen projector that while they were fighting, they brought it down but you could still see through and it showed both of them still fighting, but then it had them like do like a 360 camera angle on them and they had like effects and everything. I don't know if I'm really explaining it 
it well. The choreography of them fighting was really cool, but having the screen come down, like it looks like it was actually happening in real time. Even though you know there's a screen there, you can see through, I don't know. I'm not really good at explaining things. I don't know, it was really cool. <laughs> I don't think I really grasped though that I was like, wow, I was really watching this famous magician I've been watching since I was a kid, now in person. Like I never thought I would be doing that. I'm honestly surprised he's still doing shows. Like this dude's like in his 50s. And he's definitely showing now. He's getting a little gut, I'm not gonna lie. And he's doing this new show that seems very interesting. So it seems like he was doing Mind Freak again to promote this. Need to say, it was really fun seeing Chris Angel. I recommend anybody that goes to Vegas, if, he, if Chris Angel is there, I definitely recommend going to see him. But I gotta say, at the end, I really liked what Chris Angel said. If I can do it, you can do it too. And I really liked that. Even though I was thinking, no, I cannot. Like, what the heck? <laughs> I, I thought it was really cool that how you said that to inspire other people to do what he does. But nevertheless, that was my time seeing Chris Angel in Las Vegas. Go see him or don't. It's up to you.